All right, guys, I am down at my snake garden below my house, and I'm gonna check some of these boards and see what we catch today. All right, guys, here is the first set of boards. Usually this one is pretty decent. Oh, nice. Big old milk snake. Yeah, I haven't seen this guy probably maybe two months now. There used to be two big milks under here, but I haven't seen them in months. That's a pretty snake. Cool, I'm gonna put this guy down on a board so you guys can get a better look at him. That's awesome. I'm glad he came back. Like I said, I haven't seen this guy in months. So pretty. It's nice he's not in shed, it looks like either. Most of the milks I've been finding recently have been in shed. Come here, guy, don't get wrapped up. But I'm probably gonna take some photos of this guy and we're gonna check the other boards. All right, guys, here's one last look at this milk snake before I let it go. It's actually got a good bit more grumpy. I think he's warmed up since uh, I was holding him. It's a pretty chilly day today, so he was pretty, pretty relaxed at first. You can see he's kind of in striking position. He keeps striking at the camera. That's neat though. It's always nice to see milk snakes in your yard. Awesome. Well, I'm gonna let him go and we got a couple more boards at the flip. Nothing under there. Most of these boards still haven't been set out long enough for the grass to die underneath of them. So I'm not expecting to see too much under these yet. There are a lot of a lot of crickets. Might as well check this one. It's just too wet underneath there. I'll go back and fix these boards. Still a little bit too grassy. And last board, just some crickets. Well, that was neat seeing the uh, milk snake. Probably get out in the next couple day or two and try to find some more snakes for you guys. All right guys, here is the first snake of the day that I just flipped. This is an Eastern garter snake and a pretty one at that. Super cold too. Probably enjoy some warmth from my hands. That's cool, I actually wasn't expecting to find anything underneath these rocks just because the, the rocks are ice cold. Neat, I'm gonna let them go and maybe we'll find some more snakes this week. All right, guys, just was driving and found this black rat snake on the side of this busy highway. So I'm gonna get him off the road. Uh, since this road's pretty busy, I'm sure he would have gotten hit. See a car coming right now. So this is gonna be a quick release. Just wanted to make sure that he got over here safely. There you go, guy. Cool. All right, guys, I was just driving around and I saw this little Eastern garter snake on the side of the road. So I quickly stopped and made sure I grabbed them, which I lucky, lucky I did. There's two cars that went by right after. So I'm sure this guy would have most likely have gotten hit. Pretty cool though. I'm gonna 
put him on the side of the road uh, in the direction he was heading and I'm gonna keep looking for some more herps today. All right, stay off the road, little guy. I'm literally about 30 seconds up the road from that little garter snake and here's this big garter snake crawling across the road. Glad this guy isn't hit. I'm gonna just usher him off and seems like snakes are moving so we're gonna keep on cruising and hopefully save some more today check this out guys just taking a little walk this evening and we just started and this is a pair of praying mantis um not sure what species uh we have a couple species here in maryland but they are in the process of mating that's neat um, in this county, I barely ever uh, actually see praying mantis. Uh, so this is one of the few I've ever seen in the county. It's cool though. I'm gonna let them do their thing and hopefully find some herps on this walk. Check out what I just flipped. Look at this cute baby queen snake. This is the first one I think I've seen in a few years in this county. Um, they're not especially rare. Uh, they're pretty common at this location. I just haven't seen one in a while or even look for them here in a while. That's so cool. I don't think I've ever recall ever seeing a baby before. You can see a good look at his belly there. That's neat. That is so cool. I love these guys. Well, I'm gonna take some photos of this little dude and then I'm gonna flip his rock back put him back under it and hopefully you find some more uh, and hopefully you find an adult today that would be really cool all right guys here's gonna be the last look before I let him go right back underneath his rock there you go buddy All right, guys, just flipped another queen snake. This one's a little bit bigger than the last one. So this could be maybe two years old, or it could just be a bigger one from this year. Uh, I'm not really sure. I don't see babies, really. Uh, like I said, I think that last one was probably my first baby I've ever seen. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of scary flip the rock. I flipped them under had a whole uh, paper wasp nest. So I hurry up and grab this guy so I could drop the rock so they didn't sting me. That's neat though. I'm gonna take some photos of this guy as well and let him let him go. Yeah. All right, guys, just flipped another baby queen snake. Unfortunately, a couple rocks back, I flipped the uh, adult one, and I hesitated for. A little bit too long and he slipped down a hole uh, so I wasn't able to get him on film. That's cool though, this is number three for the day. Uh, there's still a couple more rocks here to flip and I'm, I'm still hoping that we get an adult on film but at least I got to see one. But I got enough photos of the babies so I'm just gonna let him go right back underneath his rock.